so, so yeah. yeah, tell us about this table. I, first of all, the, 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 the lines, everything is beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so this is a table that I'm building. Um, sorry. It's okay. All right. Uh, I'm building this for a gal in Massachusetts. Uh -oh. uh, this is one of our one of our stock designs. I mean, this is kind of our dining table design. We call it the, the Karis table, which is the Greek word for grace. Oh, okay. which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, it all it all breaks down flat, so you can see there's little connectors here. Those come apart. I'll take this apart in a minute, actually. Okay. But these these rails pop out, and then this is a half lap joint right here. So this will just lift up out of that, and then it all shifts. So this is flat. a great design because you now can easily ship this anywhere. It helps with shipping. It helps even more. Like tables are hard to get into your house. Yeah. And I actually used to glue it all up permanent, and then we had one where we took it to this house in Laguna Beach, and my friend who did the delivery came back and he's like, "That was heroin." <laughs> Um, I don't know if you've ever read uh, Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. No. There, it's the same guy that wrote uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the yeah. Galaxy. Yeah. But there's a scene in that book where they're moving a couch and it gets stuck in a hallway in a way that it can never be moved. So it just <laughs> the stays there. Fixture. Yeah, it just stays there forever. It feels like a, a New York walk-up. Exactly. <laughs> so, anyways, that happened. I was like, okay, we got to figure out how to break this down flat. Yeah. Um, so. Oh, but, it's, yeah. It's great design. So did, did you? Kind of come with the design. You said you yeah. glue them and you. I actually had uh, this. The customer I mentioned earlier in Silver Lake sent me a picture of a table that was built in steel. Yeah. And it had some of the similar features. Like, could you build something in this sort of vein? So the original version actually these came in at a tighter angle, and then there was a bar that ran across the middle. Okay. And I think I built one or two like that, and then I realized like this is more elegant. Just yeah. have a continuous piece of crisscrossing. Yeah. And it's less assembly too. Um, so yeah, it's you know like everything else, it's an iterative process. Every time you build it, you learn something new. Like, oh, we can tweak that a little bit. You know? Yeah. Um, so how do you how do your customers find you? Obviously, you have some repeat customers. I have I have a lot of repeat customers, which helps a lot. Yeah. That's made the business a yeah, lot I'm sure more. Sure, they're robust. referring too. Yeah, yeah. exactly. A um, ton of traffic through Etsy. Okay. So Etsy, you know, I'll get. Uh, in a good week, I'll get five or six orders on Etsy. A bad okay. week, I'll get at least one. And do you pay for the extra advertising as I well? I do. Okay. Yeah, I pay like 500 bucks a month okay. or something like that. Yeah. Um, and then people randomly find me. I don't know how I get people showing up to my site. My site had a lot of problems for a long time. It had like a phishing oh, warning on it. Oh, and it oh. took me years to get rid of that. It was huh. such a oh, that's nightmare. crazy. I know. That's crazy. So I'm actually in the process right now. Now that that's all cleared, I'm in the process yeah. of doing a rebuild. Okay. So you have somebody working on it for you? Yeah, or? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say, I, I'm sure you can do it, but <laughs> focus on the thing in case it pays you money. Yeah. Exactly. So, so yeah. So, um, so yeah. what? Um, and again, these are just finished. Also with um, the Danish oil, this or do you one, put this it? This one I use use a polyurethane. Okay. Because, Makes it more uh, durable. Yeah. 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 Be, because it needs to be a bit more impervious to moisture. Yep. Okay. Um, Polyurethane is great. We use a rub-on polyurethane that's that's awesome. Yeah. You know, the downside of polyurethane is that if you do get a scratch, you really kind of have to sand out the whole oh, surface. Okay. You know? yep. um, the Danish oil is great because you can just spot treat it. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing with, with the polyurethane, which actually would be true for the Danish oil also, but the, the one problem I've had is when people put something really hot directly on there, yep. the heat will create like a... Uh, kind of melt it? Yeah. It doesn't melt it. it. I don't know what it is. It'll turn white. Oh. So I've got to be really uh, explicit with my customers. Like, here's what you can put on yeah. it. Here's what you can. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, well, anybody putting a hot item on wood is probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you don't think but about even, it. I mean, I, if you're a used table. to having a steel table or, sure, you know, sure. uh, a plastic or whatever, like... A hot pizza box sometimes. Uh, right, exactly. That's, that's exactly it. Yeah. Like, I mean, we, it happens in our family. We put the hot pizza box and I come in the other room. I'm like, whoa, 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 guys, hold on. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so... Yeah, for sure. So, tell us about the, the, the space. Um, oh. So, uh, Pete, tell us about the space. You said that uh, you've kind of slowly taken over... Yeah. everything from your partners that were in yeah. here with you. So initially my space basically went to, you can see that post over there. Yeah. That was kind of where my space stopped. Okay. Actually, it was, yeah. actually, no, it was more where this bench is now that I think of it. That was, so it was like, this was my space, everything from there over to here. This was all common area that we shared. Everything from that point over was this other guy and his group. Yeah. And for a while there, there were like six, seven, eight guys in here. Hey, enjoy it. 
run the two different businesses yeah. and we were kind of like on each other's toes. Yeah, for sure. Um, this room in here where the CNC is was an art room that I slowly took over. Okay. Um, <laughs> This, so you still got curtains. Yeah, this well this room was originally gonna be my photo room. That's why oh. that's why like we painted the walls and the flooring. Like, that's why I put the flooring yeah, in. Yeah. But it never worked for one reason because it was just too small. Uh, those windows were really actually distracting. Like they're cool, but they let in way too much light from behind. Yeah. And then um and then in most of the shots it was just distracting. I realized I just needed a plain white backdrop. Yep. Um so anyways, I, I told you a story a little bit already, but when I took over that room in there, I finally realized like, that's the photo room. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. So, yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I took over this room. I actually took over like half of it and then three quarters of it. And then <laughs> so when I wanted, creeped in. You know, when I wanted to get the CNC, I told my buddy like, hey, can you just get all your stuff out? Cause I need to just totally, he sells a bunch of his stuff up here. There's tons of stores. Yeah, yeah, there. okay. So anyways, that that's kind of been, been the way it's gone, but now, we have the whole space. Other than that bench, um, Conley, he's one of the guys who rents, sorry, he works for me, but he rents that bench. So three days a week, he's doing his own thing. Okay. Uh, but it's such a communal, like collaborative vibe in here. So you know, talk to us, so you, you've got like four guys working yeah. in here. You could, they're using, um, they're kind of renting or using space to do just, some of their own thing. Oh, just okay. Conley. Okay. Everyone else is here as an employee. Okay. Um, okay. So where do you find young guys who want to do this kind of stuff? You know, it's an interesting industry where um, people hit me up. You know, okay. Like, hey, I've got this job, but I'm bored. I'd love to do what you do. Okay. You know, I, so it's a, that's a cool thing about this line of work. Yeah. Um, so I found Bo. Bo is a, like a family friend. Basically. Yep. I'm, I'm good friends with his brother. Okay. He came and worked with me one or two days and was awesome, but he had another job offer and he's like, I can't, I'm going to go do this other job. Yep. Um, we had kind of a shake up with one of the other employees and I called him and I'm like, what's it going to take to get you over here? And he's like, actually, I'm kind of discontent with my current job, the timing's good, and he's been here like a year and a half. Kevin hit me up because he, he wanted to learn the trade and um, he ha actually has a really expansive shop that his dad has set up oh, at his house. Okay. But he just didn't know, didn't have the skill set. Yeah. And so he hit me up and was like, I'll work for free. I just want to learn it. Wow. So he worked for free for like maybe two weeks. And I immediately saw how good he was. Yeah. I'm like, I can't let you be free any longer. I got to yeah. keep you around, you know? So he started at minimum wage and then he's worked his way up. And, you know. So he's been with me, I think, about three years. Conley started working for me when he was 16. Okay. Or maybe 15. <laughs> uh, I'm friends with his dad. We used to teach together at Wilson. And he, um, his dad hit me up, same thing. Can he come work for free and get some experience one yeah. day a week? Yeah. And he got really, really good. So um, I had to coax him to come three days. He was two days a week, you know, working at other shops. I'm like, what's it gonna take to get you here, you know? Yeah, yeah, more. Yeah. So. I mean, I, to be honest with you, yeah. um, I think we're about the same vintage. You might be a few years younger <laughs> than me, but, yeah, yeah. but um, there's no shop class anymore. Yeah, right. Right? Yeah. I loved shop yeah. class, right? That, well, that was a really good program at Cerrito City College. Conley was a part of that. Okay. I took one class over there that was actually really helpful. Yep. I would have taken more, except it, I just kept getting bogged down with not being able to get in. Yeah. And then at a certain point, I was like, you know what? Why am I going to go learn about it when I'm already doing it? Yeah. But there's still, it's I like would the still last place in Southern California that has a place like that. I think City, I think it's a few other city colleges. I think El Camino College has a good program. I think there's something in Glendale, but, yeah. but there's but not there, a lot. The last uh, shop I knew of in middle school was at Hughes Middle School, where I went. Yep. And that last year that I was teaching, I was kind of hedging my bets a little bit because I was still scared. Yeah. And I went and met with the woodshop teacher, who was my teacher, because I was thinking maybe I uh, do the hybrid, right? Yeah. I teach woodshop, now I'm getting a little bit of best yeah. of both worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went and visited him, and that was the last shop left, and I think he's wow. since retired. Wow. And I think they, they right killed. once once those teachers are gone, they're not they're not manufacturing new ones. I, uh, right. I know. It's crazy. I know, and I actually kind of called him. Well, so the wood shop that was at Hill Middle School, yeah. Hill Middle School turned into a high school. I called and talked to him at this room, like, what happened to all this stuff? I'm like, oh, it's in a container, waiting in case anyone ever wants to bring it back, but. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's gone by the way. Because yeah. I think, and this is what we were talking with Bo earlier, is that um, there's a there's a, a hunger to yeah. learn this stuff. Yeah. I mean, you got yeah. a couple examples of guys yeah. right here, right? Yeah. 
Well, we live in a world where everything is digital. Yeah. You know? yeah. I think that the more and more that becomes a reality, the more people want that this experience of yeah. shaping things manually and seeing it come to life. Right. You know, right, right, and right. Uh, it's powerful. So, so what's your 